So I'm having a four kilowatt, um, what is it called? PV solar, solar PV system, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Four kilowatt solar PV system fitted up by uh, Euro Solar, a company based in Manchester. And uh, this is their setup at the moment. They've come here, they've set up uh, a scaffold tower, roof, cat ladder up. And at the moment he's checking uh, for the mounting points to fit the stainless steel brackets in onto the roof. Spars, is it? It's called spars, isn't it? Yeah. So they fit in, as you can see there, they mount in on the spar and then they're shaped so that they come down and under the tile. Then they mount these aluminium rails. rails along. So they're channel, aluminium channel rails. Um, I think it's going to be four meters up the roof and it's going to go back to somewhere approximately around here is what they've s s said so uh, just above the line on the wee windows there so it's going to be a fairly large install uh, and hopefully uh, I'll generate a fair bit of electricity with this I'm hopefully just catching the 43 pence feed-in tariff which apparently closes around the 3rd of March I think it is so I'm having this done sort of mid-February so hopefully things will be pretty good any time after the 3rd of March I believe the feed-in tariff drops to 20 odd pence so not uh, not so good after that point anyway I'll do a few more little videos as it develops at the moment he's just inspecting a few points to see where the roof spars are <laughs> So you can see there when the brackets are in, there's not much rise on the tiles between where the brackets are fitted. Looks like I got it the wrong way around, the beams. The, uh, the tracks seem to be running vertically up and down the roof. Well, not vertically, but you know what I mean. I will make a hole and I will touch the fire. And you will see which fire is there. So these are the bolts they're using, they appear to be t M10 stainless steel bolts which fit in the channel and won't turn. So these bolts presumably point down and fit into the brackets which are slid under the roof tiles. So they then just have to put a, a nut and presumably some sort of locking washer on underneath and tighten up against it. So effectively these bolts will be pointing downwards when the channel is inverted. So this is where the wire is being fed down. From the, uh, from the loft. This is a piece of power, um, well electrical trunking I put up some years ago 
so you can see the wire can feed down easy here now there's not enough room in my distribution panel to put all this gubbins in so they're fitting it on top and at a later date I can box it in if I wish to and put a cover over it so that's an isolation switch on this side presumably that turns off the feed from the system down into the distribution panel back to the national grid and here is the um, is the meter that's being fitted in to tell me what power I'm actually generating from the solar and on here on this side I believe there's going to be an RCD um, a circuit uh, breaker just in case of any uh, accidents and so on well I was wrong the, uh, they all run vertically the ones which were on the floor down there were just ones which they hadn't cut down to length yet so once they're all up they run vertical up and, up and down the roof length and then the panels are just bolted onto them these are the panels which are going up um, I can't remember how many, 16 or 17 of them I think they're about um, I don't know, about 3 foot by 5 foot in size and about what, 30 millimetres in depth so there's like a, there's a chip, there's an angle, this is like a, an angle so they can obviously bolt from, they can clamp on these somehow I presume I don't know exactly how they go up power connectors for each of the panels you see they don't look very heavy Okay, here's the finished installation now. I've just got to put this uh, capping back on here, which I've taken off on my chunking. Now, uh, what he's had to do is he's had to fit a, a second small distribution panel um, with um, a couple of uh, circuit breakers in and an ICD. Now, here is the um, the actual kilowatt our meter and it's been running for about 10-20 minutes now and it's um, it's just done <coughs> um, 0.3 of a kilowatt hour um, now here is um, the breaker which disconnects the mains um, supply coming up into this and the obviously the 240 volts which is being generated from the solar on the roof back down and into the into the distribution uh, box down here so it's all hooked up earth wire and so on 
all taken up to the unit up in the loft. Now I'll just show, quickly show you all the panels on the roof. And this is uh, <coughs> the sun I've now got here. Um, and it's, uh, what did I say it was? I think it's the... Uh, it's the 24th of February. Now my roof is sort of uh, west facing so um, I'm generating a reasonable amount of electricity at the moment. Uh, when it comes to the summer um, I have the sun till ooh, 9 or after 9 o'clock in the evening because I've got quite low buildings and a field in front of me so I get a fair amount of sunlight there. So I'll just dip up in the loft and I'll show you what uh, electricity is being generated at the moment. Okay, here's the uh, full setup in the loft now. These are um, two inverters which have been fitted. So they've basically made two strings of solar panels up on the roof feeding into two inverters. Now they did say one inverter would actually handle the current but if you put two inverters and share the load the inverters are going to last longer and potentially reduce the amount of losses in the system um, which could be generated if you only had one box so two will work slightly better over the lifetime of the install now here we have an isolator box again which is to isolate the supply um, from the solar panels and from the inverters running down there and then down to the distribution uh, box. Now these leads here, these are the fairly heavy uh, <coughs> um, DC supplies from the solar panels. Now you can see they've taken them through my roof there. I've got to do a little bit of tidying up, but that's not much of a problem. Um, so we've got another two isolation boxes for the two feeds, so they can be turned off. Now, <laughs> here is the supply going into the two panels. Now, that says that one is generating 617.6 watts at the moment and this one is generating 608 watts at the moment um, status normal so no faults but I have a function button I haven't played around with I don't know what that will do function uh. volts PV 245 pack 612 mm. does that mean it 245 volts coming from, I don't know. Electricity today, 0.22 kilowatts. Well, it's only been on for kilowatt hours. So it's only been on a short time. Point two one kilowatt hours. Anyway, we'll see how this uh, install goes. Uh, so the units are made by Solar River, and they've they've left some uh, information here. If I need to read it, that probably shouldn't be up on the top of there because 
that's a big cooling fin running down the back. So I think I will just put them on down here on my table and uh, leave them to fu function a bit better. Yeah, so that's it. Let's hope I get lots of lovely electricity generated.